just about making my coffee here and I've got my sugar cookie Grinch uh, coffee creamer in here and I just realized that I had run out of my, um, oh, what was I using? That cinnamon roll um, coffee syrup. And I forgot that this box is my new Jordan skinny syrups that I had gotten because they were all on sale. And let me show you what I ended up getting. Oh, this is a smaller bottle. Whoa, this is like a 12 ounce bottle. Anyway, this is the pumpkin spice. Okay, a normal size bottle. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is the peppermint bark. And a lot of these were like $3.99. Oh, toasted marshmallow. This is my absolute favorite. I was so disappointed when they like quit selling this one and they, they started it back up again. So this is my favorite. I got a lot of favorites, honestly. What am I saying? I forgot I got a lot too. <laughs> uh, this one is in the sugar cookie flavor. This one is the white chocolate peppermint syrup. And the last one. Okay, I had this one last year. This one is amazing. The gingerbread latte. Yes, please. <laughs> so I was trying to get, okay, that is the last one. Okay, so I was trying to get uh, a lot of like the Christmas type flavors Toast marshmallow. I mean, I'm sorry. This is good anytime. Most of these are like Christmas time and I don't know which one I want to open first. Oh my goodness. One that I haven't tried before. And obviously I have tried this one. I have tried, I used this one last year, so I'll definitely save those, but I want to try one that I haven't done before. And I don't know which one I want to go with. Oh my Lord. Something keeps telling me to try the sugar cookie. I don't know. I guess because I'm using the, um, the sugar cookie, uh, Grinch, coffee creamer. So I'm feeling like I want to try this one. Okay. Yep. I put like about three, I measure out like three tablespoons. I put it in this cup and yep, that tastes good. I really like that one. Just so you know, this is actually not, um, sponsored in any way. I wish that skinny syrups would, I wish Jordan's would sponsor my videos. That would be pretty awesome. I know that there are, uh, there's some other like coffee syrups out there. I know some people, like it says zero sugar, but like only kind of, sort of, they still have um, sucralose in there, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it. It's got zero calories. Let's put it that way. That's all I care about, zero calories. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to finish up my coffee and I'm going to go ahead and start breakfast. Are you ready to go outside, Abby? You ready to go feed some animals? Huh? Let's go feed them. It's a little cold out here. Oh my God. Good morning, goats. Good morning. Good morning, Daisy. Hello, look at little, little baby. Y'all say happy Vlogmas. Say good morning. Hi, Daisy. Y'all ready for some breakfast? Oliver's ready. Randy is closest to his bowl, so yeah, he's ready. And no, they have not had their babies yet. <laughs> so. Okay, everybody is fed. Now let's go take care of everybody else. Bruno, you ready for breakfast, buddy? You scratching your rump? <laughs> Good morning, Bethy girl. Bruno, come on. Let's get some breakfast, buddy. Oh, here he comes. There he comes. There he goes. <laughs> All right. So they got their breakfast. Time to go get the chickens. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know I really should get that pool out of here because uh, they um, they don't need the pool. They only need the pool in the summer, really. They're not needed. They don't need it right now. Kind of same thing with uh, Beth and Bruno. <laughs> they don't need their pool. That's why it's flipped over like this because they're not really using it. <laughs> All right. Look at little Dottie over there. She's so tiny and cute. Just love her so much. I threw some feet out right here, so that's what they're doing. But anyway... Now that everybody is finally gotten their breakfast and everything, we are back in the house. Look at this tree. Look how I got all the lights off still because it's still pretty early in the morning, but um, we're going to be decorating this tree today and I'm pretty excited. Abby has been looking at me very confused like yesterday when <laughs> when Megan and I were trying to deal with the uh, the tree here. She kept looking at me like, you don't even allow me to bring rocks in the house and you bring in a whole tree. Like she's very confused confused like you hypocrite <laughs> but anyway so the kitchen tree is going to get decorated today after church not now this is what everything is looking like this morning it is just all the lights 
just make me so happy right now. And this is our elf Mary this morning. She has left a little something in the girl's stocking. So we'll see that in just a little bit. But for now, um, I'm just enjoying my coffee and I'm gonna get some breakfast going. So Charlotte just woke up and she found the little gift that Mary left for her. And it's a mystery Harry Potter Christmas ornament. So let's just, all right, let's go ahead, Charlotte. Oh, you love Hermione. Oh, that yes, is awesome. My favorite character. Well, how cool is that? That's so awesome. Let me see real quick. Oh, little Hermione. Love it. Oh, you can go put it on the tree. Okay. Yay. Yay. Oh my God, Abby. All right, y'all. So we've already been to church. We came home and just, I had some lunch. I just had a turkey and cheese sandwich and some chips and a Milano cookie. <laughs> We're gonna hit up Walmart really quick to get a few things and I'm, when we get back, I'm gonna decorate that Christmas tree. <laughs> anyway, so we just got back from Walmart and um, we just got a few basic things. I had to go get some tortilla chips for our chicken tortilla soup. That way I can have that for lunch tomorrow. Got some more ham for Charlotte's lunch boxes and just some tank tops that, that I found over at Walmart. They're like $3 a piece. That was pretty cool. Um, just some, you know, random stuff. I'm not even going to worry about doing a haul over that, but I am going to go ahead and get started on this Christmas tree before I got to go outside and take care of the animals. So let's get started. Um, I think this is all I'm gonna be able to do uh, with the tree. I do have like one thing of garland that matches this garland here, but I think it's gonna be too short, which is why I didn't put garland on the tree this year. So just got some of my favorite gingerbread ornaments on here. Some I think came from Hobby Lobby, these wooden ones I got from Amazon. And these are just some plain, colored balls that um, I've had forever, honestly. <laughs> uh, but anyway, and I think I might've gotten that one from Walmart. And this is a DIY that I had done years ago. But anyway, and then the uh, tree skirt I had gotten from Amazon and it says, um, what does it say? Gingerbread kiss, what does it say? Oh, gingerbread wishes candy cane kisses is I believe what it says on there. But anyway, that is just so super cute. And I think this tree is probably going to be done. These little decorations are just so stinking cute. This is like one of my favorites. Maybe you recognize it. Maybe you've seen it before. I can't remember if that was Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I think that was Hobby Lobby. That is our gingerbread tree to go with our gingerbread theme in our kitchen. What I wanted to do is get like the peppermint candy like style like picks to go in there, but by the time I decided, oh, that's what I need for this tree, I can't seem to find any. <laughs> so maybe next year, I don't know, we'll see. That is our tree right now, and I do need to get dinner started here. Well, I still got like one more hour before I need to start dinner. We're gonna have a, um, what are we making? Oh, tortellini, we're making a tortellini pasta carbonara. Uh, but I am going to add chicken to it, so I will be starting that here in about another hour. But my goats are yelling outside, so I need to go ahead and take care of them really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, y'all. So for dinner tonight, we are making the chicken cheese tortellini carbonara. Um, I've got just this one package of cheese tortellini. Uh, you're just going to cook that according to package directions. Um, I've got some chicken here thawing out. I'm just going to cook that. I'm probably going to season it with some salt and pepper. Um, I don't know what other seasonings I might use, but at least salt and pepper. Cook that up. Heavy whipping cream, some minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, and I've got some bacon. I'm gonna stick that in the air fryer and cook that up. Uh, it takes about 12 minutes, and we're gonna whip everything up. 
uh, once that's or as that's cooking I'm gonna cook up the chicken and then we'll get everything all mixed together so all right let's get to it the other thing I forgot to mention is that this recipe does call for some broccoli florets but uh, my broccoli went bad so I had to toss it out so we're just gonna do everything without the broccoli <clears throat> And I think I'll probably get one more slice in there. All right. So I think like I've shown before, I put the bacon in the air fryer. Uh, I think I do 370 for about 12 minutes. I'm gonna start off by cooking the chicken in the pan uh, on about a medium, medium high heat, uh, at least six minutes either side. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper tiny bit of oil to the pan. Oh my God, really that just happened. The other side of the black pepper was lifted up. So when I was shaking it out, it fell out of this too. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get our pot of water Get that boiling for the cheese tortellini. We're gonna cook this according to package directions and this just says to uh, bring some water to a boil. This is to place the tortellini in the water. Okay, this was supposed to actually be boiling, but anyway. So the tortellini is gonna be in the water. Once it starts to boil, we're gonna boil it uncovered for about three minutes, stirring a little bit, and then we're gonna drain it, but we're gonna actually save some of the pasta water. So not it's not boiling, but it, they are floating. So I'm gonna wait for it to come to more of a rapid boil here. All right, now we've got a boil going on. I'm gonna set the timer for about three minutes. So the next thing we wanna do, now that we've like drained our pasta and I have reserved, um, actually I ended up reserving like about a cup of the pasta water. So this is some of the uh, bacon grease from when I cooked up the bacon. So I'll do a little bit of that and we're going to do um, two teaspoons of the minced garlic. We're gonna saute that for just a minute. Until nice and fragrant. We are going to add our broccoli, not our broccoli. Now, if you're using broccoli, this is the time when you would use your broccoli. Charlotte is putting ice in her um, cup right now, so please excuse all the noise. Um, but since I don't have broccoli, we're going straight to adding the bacon. I'm just crumbling it with my hands because I forgot to chop it. Charlotte, you are being so loud right now. Okay, so add in our cooked chopped bacon. We're gonna add our pasta back in here along with our heavy whipping cream. So this is about a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. And give that a good stir. I will add some of the pasta water. I'm not going to do all of it, just I'm going to do some of it. And then it says to let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Actually, I'm going to turn the heat up just a tiny bit. Now it's been about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add about a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this in, and I'm actually going to add in our chicken as well. Uh, get that all reheated with our um, with our noodles. I might even add in a little bit more of the pasta water, a little bit more of the heavy cream because I feel like we don't have much of a sauce going here. So I'm really, it's, I've made this recipe like one other time and it was a long time ago. So I don't really remember what I did. So now I'm just kind of going off of what it is written on the recipe versus what I'm seeing and doing here. So I just kind of want it to be a little bit creamier to have a little bit more of a sauce going on. And I'm gonna add my chicken now. I'm 
So obviously the chicken is optional in the recipe. It doesn't even call for it, but I think, you know, just having that added protein in there is probably a good idea. Kind of um, with the Parmesan cheese and the cream and the garlic and everything, you're basically making a an Alfredo sauce which is, you know, super easy. Although Alfredo sauce is used with butter instead of um, oil. I'm gonna add a little bit more heavy cream. This is just, so it's basically like a chicken Alfredo, but with cheese tortellini noodles. It seems like well, that's what we've got going on here. Me, visually, like this looks lovely, but I like to make it visually more appealing with some parsley. So if you have fresh parsley, you can use that. I only have dry parsley. So I like to sprinkle that in just to give it some pretty color. And then when I go to dish this up, I'll add a little bit of extra parsley on top. I just think it looks prettier. So we're just gonna heat this through and I'm gonna dish this up. So I got both of us got us dished up here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan cheese on the top. A little bit of parsley, and that is what is for dinner tonight, y'all. All right, y'all, so we've already finished up dinner. Now we are watching the movie Elf for our Christmas movie for the night. Having a little bit of a dessert, and I'm gonna end the vlog here, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe down below, hit that like button, share with somebody you love, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.